There's a place in your heart Hi guys, this is Teacher Mel and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to learn about powers and roots. Okay, so a number multiplied by itself several times is called a power of that number. So you use indices to show powers. In other books, power, sometimes they call it indices. It's also known as indices or sometimes it is known as exponent yeah it's sometimes called exponent so all these three are all the same it's referring to an exponent or a power yeah so here are some examples of power for example if you have 5 square Okay, this is 5 square or the square of 5. So in this case, 5 square is equal to 5 times 5, which is equal to 25. Right? Another one, if you have 5 cube here, so this is 5 cube or the cube of 5. So this is equal to 5 times 5 times 5 and that is equal to 125 right another thing so if you have five to the fourth this is equal to five times five times five times 5 and it is equal to 625 so this is 5 to the power of 4 so this one is 5 to the power of 4 or 5 to the fourth power so it's the same and if you have 5 raised to the fifth power or this is 5 to the power of 5 okay which is equal to 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 so 5 times 1 2 3 4 5 which is equal to 3125 okay so the square of 5, okay, square of 5 is 5 square and that is equal to 25. Therefore, the square root of 25 is equal to 5. And we can write this in this form, okay, which is equal to 5. And the cube of 5, so the cube of 5 is equal to like this 5 cube, which is 125. Right? Therefore, the cube root of 1 to 5 is 5. So the cube root, and we can write it in this form. So the cube root of 1 to 5 is equal to 5. And remember that 5 is not only the square root of 25. So 5 is not only the square root of 25. We can also write like negative 5 square is equal to negative 5 
times negative 5 and negative 5 times negative 5 is equal to positive 25 right so 25 has two square roots so that means the square root of 25 is equal to negative 5 and 5 so it has two possible answers okay so 125 only has one integer cube root negative 5 negative 5 is not a cube root because negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5 is equal to negative 1 to 5 yeah so they are different so negative 5 is not a cube root of 1 to 5 and square numbers have square roots that are integers for example if you have 13 square 13 square is equal to 169 so square root of 169 is equal to 13 another one if you have 19 square so 19 square is equal to 361 so square root of 361 is equal to 19 so we can try try to memorize these five cubes and their corresponding cube roots for example if you have one cube that is equal to one because one times one times one is one so cube root of one is equal to one right another one so if you have two cube and that is equal to eight so cube root of eight is equal to two all right third one if you have three cube that is equal to 27 because 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27 so cube root of 27 is equal to 3 and for for 4 cube you have 4 times 4 times 4 is equal to 64 right so cube root of 64 is equal to 4 Okay. And lastly you have 5 cube this is equal to 125 so cube root of 125 is equal to 5 just make sure that you don't get confused about this uh, symbol okay so this one means square root This one is square root. And then this one is equal to cube root. Right? So don't get confused with these two symbols. Okay, let's have more examples. Okay, so for example, find the value of each power. So if you have 10 square, so what is 10 square? It means 10, 10, 10, 10 times 10, and that is 100. Then if you have 10 cube, it means 10 times 10 times 10 and that is equal to 1000 right and if you have 10 to the fourth power so that means 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 so four times right so that means it's equal to 10,000 now if you are asked to write down two square roots for each of these numbers for example 9 yeah so what are the two square roots of 9? Remember, it can be a positive and a negative numbers. So square root of 9 is equal to 3 and negative 3. Because negative 3 times negative 3 is also equal to 9. The square root of 9 so is 3. So therefore, 
the two square roots of 9 is positive 3 and negative 3 another one if you have 225 so we all know that 225 is equal to 15 times 15 and also negative 15 times negative 15 so the two uh, square roots of 225 is negative 15 and 15 it's negative 15 and 15 so that's all for today so if you want to learn more about my lessons please don't forget to subscribe my channel okay and don't forget to click the bell so that you will get notified the next time i uploaded my next video all right so till next time see you bye